So today we're going to test gloves. Gloves is a fairly new standard that we're using. It also does not have any real limits on in 2020. So gloves are kind of a standalone test. So first I'm wearing a glove that we're going to test. Before you even make the glove test, you should test the gloves for its intrinsic values. So that's using our standards that we would use in packaging. So if you want to see how those measurements are done, please go to our packaging video because I'm not going to demonstrate those, but basically they use the concentric ring or the two point probe or the five pound electrodes to measure the actual intrinsic property. In order for a glove to be used, you have to also wear it for five minutes at minimum. So I've had this glove on for over five minutes now, and that's to make sure that the hydration that happens when your glove is on your hand happens. It gives you maximum protection. The measurement tools that we use, is first, I want to point out this wrist strap. Now, as you notice, this wrist strap has a, a red marker on it, which means it's a non-standard wrist strap. In fact, the wrist strap in the standard that we're going to be using calls for a wrist strap that has that does not have the one mega ohm resistor in there. And this one is just a straight wire. It also requires the use of a standard wrist strap with a one mega ohm resistor. So we'll show that one also. And depending on the res resistance range that you're trying to measure, determine what strap you're going to use. The last measurement piece of equipment that we have is called a constant area force electrode. So this puts a weight on and you can see it puts a force and a measured pressure on the finger and digit. And of course, we're going to use our high resistance meter that we have over here to make all the measurements. So as I do with most of my uh, instrumentation, I want to make sure it's working. So the first test we're going to do is just to make sure that it measures the high end. So the cafe is attached. We'll attach the resistor without the one mega ohm, and we'll just see how high it can go uh, in this setup. So as you can see here, the highest we can measure is somewhere in the 10th to the 11th. Since we're 10 to the 12th, one order of magnitude less. So let's see what's the lowest we can measure. I'm going to put the resistor without the one mega ohm on me. I'm going to pick up um, the cafe electrode. And then we're going to do the test again, see how low we can go. So the lowest we can measure is 2.3 times 10 to the fifth. So now we know our measurement range. We'll see if our glove fits in there. So the first test we're going to do, and the way the standard has it, is you put the wrist strap on the same wrist as the glove. So the meter is now set up to do a voltage measurement at only 10 volts. And this meter will autocorrect unless you change it. I change it to manual mode, so it's only going to do 10 volts. So with the wrist strap that you have with no resistor in it, you only want to test 10 volts. So you pick up the cafe measurement like this and put it on your first finger. And that's the first test you do just to see what range we're having. This is set up now to do top end 10 to the sixth because that's as high as we go with the 10 volt measurement. And the OL indication means that it is basically over the 10 to the, to the fifth highest end or low end 10 six range, which means I have to go to a hundred volt measurement. To a hundred volt measurement though, I want to change my wrist strap to use one with the one mega ohm resistor. And again, when you're using the one mega ohm resistor, same thing, you'd be putting it on the wrist that you're wearing the glove. Meter set up, same finger. The only difference is now I'm wearing the wrist strap with one mega ohm in it, in it, and I'll make a measurement. And you can see by the meter, there's a 100 volt measurement, and it measures 2.9 times 10 to the seventh. So we're in the dissipative range of this meter. To complete the testing, you now do the rest of the fingers. The 
three. Two point three, and then finally the thumb. And that's how you test gloves.